I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so nice from, uh, from the Germany. Uh, here in Zidau. Is it very nice here? Yeah, I like it. I like it very much. Yeah, come on! It's the end of summer. The sun is going and we're trying to make the most of it. So we're now going for beach, beers, rugby, sun, water, heat to Qingdao, one of the best beach resorts and cleanest places in China. But this Don't Tell Tiffany video is very different. Why? Because it's me! Tiffany! <laughs> I wonder if you can do that with vibrator. Manual? Zong, zong, zong. That'd be really tiring. What do you think of that, Paul? <laughs> I think he's awesome. Snappy <laughs> really good, but awesome. <laughs> Park. We thought we'd better get our mate while we wait for a friend in the airport. Cheers. Good <laughs> Chinese alcoholic testing. You just, just into someone's glove. And then sniff the glove. Bad if you've been taking cocaine, eh? <laughs> First bar Friday night, Angelina's. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird recording. I'm sorry to say, very rare for China, there was a fight uh, and one of my friends got hit and... What time is it, about five? And how Kevin, it launched the second time round was Kevin... Okay, so it's about six o'clock. Last night, a guy started on uh, our group. Uh, the bouncers couldn't get a hold of him, so we restrained him. Meanwhile, another one of our friends got hit uh, and his friends piled in. The bouncers didn't know who was who, so I got my shirt ripped and, and got like restrained myself. Meanwhile, this guy was like kicking off and like punching and everything. I got like taken out to see the guy who'd started it. Uh, they said shake his hand, which I was happy to do. The guy wouldn't do it. And then he started kicking off at someone else. The guy's just an angry guy. Uh, the bouncers wanted to speak to me and I said, you know, I'm very sorry for, your, for causing you trouble. We're, we're okay, hopefully, and they agreed. They gave me five free Corona. I don't know if this, at this point, it was saying sorry or to keep me there. A friend comes running up to me about 10 minutes later saying, there's a load of police outside. They've taken two of our guys and they're looking for another two, one of which was me. And then I saw some of my friends getting put in a, in a van. So I was like, if they're getting put in a van and I was restraining this guy on the floor, so it's not fair. So I, they, they, they took me in and put me in a van. We weren't told what was happening. We got taken to the police station. The guy is there. 
everyone's trying to speak Chinese very quickly to you to, to intimidate you. We're not allowed to touch our phones. After asked permission for water and stuff, we're not arrested, but we're detained. One of our guys holding his shoulder the whole time because he got hurt. And they essentially just go in and ask this guy what has happened. There's four of us. We have CCTV on our side. We have bouncers on the side. None of it matters. Then basically the cavalry arrived. Our friend Tiger, obviously this one here, who I would hate to be in a room trying to negotiate with because uh, she's just the best, started speaking to them. They accused us of not having ID on us. They hadn't asked us for any ID. So we just showed them the passports and yeah, it was they were just trying to extort money out of us. What's really sad to see, the lack of jurisprudence at a, just a base level. This guy knew a policeman and therefore he was able to bypass CCTV bypass the four of our testimonies which weren't asked for and bypass what the security said to extort at the end of the day 1,000 quiet out of us and it took four or five hours to do that. Welcome to China. So it's the morning after the night before. We feel like absolute train wrecks. It's about 12 o'clock. We've now missed annoyingly because we feel so shit the morning of the rugby. So in our Incredible shirts. We are trying to make our way so the whole day is not ruined. This is last night. Very nice kit there. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go away. Beach. Beach. How you feeling, Dan? Um, my Chinese fucking up the ass. And has it? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Notorious Qingdao 4 are hitting the beach. Uh, Chinese love to come camping on the beach. So in China, rather than getting like a western tan, and that looking healthy, the opposite is true. They like to remain pale if you're uh, tan. It's like you've been working in the uh, field, which is low class. If you have pale porcelain skin, that's high class. Morning, guys! Hey. Hey. Yeah. How are you feeling after last night? Hey, How are we, our thoughts? Fantastic. Fantastic. School of beer or what? You chin it. You chin it. Chin it. Fuck you. Exactly, that's it. You must be first. Is it finished? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, I'm um, here at Qingdao with Tiffany. Tilted down. <laughs> so we're at the end of the day of Qingdao uh, rugby tournament. The Incredibles uh, made out of Shanghai and uh, Wun Chengdu. No, no, Chengdu. 
Chengdu. Fuck Chengdu. Yeah. Chengdu. Yeah. Uh, we won the, the second place uh, cup. Uh, but as you can see, it's beautiful. It's nice to be out of prison. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> true. True that. It is true. <laughs> what we like about Chengdu? Uh, it's clean China. It's got a nice beach. It's obviously very popular today. <laughs> yeah, rugby is fun. A few weirdos. Hello. <laughs> don't tell Tommy the aftermath. <laughs> Today we're gonna go a little bit crazy and show you the wild side of Qingdao. Stay tuned.